All right, here's some plastic that I got. Um, it's actually part of a salvaged signage kit. Um, it's a uh, it's pretty decent plastic. It's uh, not very thick. This is a sprat that I cut off. Um, you can see, it's got a design printed on one side. And then it's pretty thin stuff. Um, I guess maybe a millimeter thick about a third the thickness that I'm going to make the helmet out of. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. This is the vacuum I'm going to be testing it out with. Um, just a standard home vacuum cleaner. And here's my machine. Now, my first test is actually going to be a tape measure. <laughs> I don't actually know what else I would, what I would try. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, Try to vacuum form a tape measure. So I've got a piece in here, which I'll show you real quick. Just clamped in place. See? You see the image on the other side. And then this. I'm going to heat the stuff, the uncolored side. Hopefully it won't do too much damage with this ink on here. I don't even know what the ink is made of, so uh, it is textured though. So again, hopefully it's not too big of an issue. Um, before I crank anything up, before I get this heat going here, I'm actually gonna test fit the hose on the vacuum because I'm not even entirely sure that it's going to fit. I used a reducer fitting to go down to inch and a quarter and I measured this and the outside diameter of the widest part of this was inch and a quarter but I think I may have measured it wrong or some stupid mistake because it doesn't fit it's actually way too big around I got a solution for that some redneck chrome. This ought to take care of it. A couple winds around the uh, piece there. And then jam it in the hole. Because that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now this is pretty low quality duct tape here. It's pretty thin. I just hope it works. Yeah. I don't know how I measured this so wrong. It seems like it still works fine. It's okay. If this works out, it'll be fine. You more lines. I probably should have grabbed some higher quality duct tape. I think that would have made a difference. See if got Yes. Ah, we have vacuum. So plug that in. Turn it on. I'm feeling vacuum pressure. So let's go. There goes my heat. Oh 
hopefully this is a hopefully this is a quick process. So. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a quick process. Let's just move this over to here. So you can Here's hoping. I also have no idea how long this thing's gonna take to reach full temperature. Uh whoo, yeah, it's getting warm though. Two primary concerns with this whole process. Uh, number one, that my element, my heating element, is not straight. Fix that problem. And it heats unevenly. And two, that my plastic is the wrong type. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Starting to get wavery. Seems to be working. Little cracks forming. Here's hoping that's not too much of a problem. I'm a little bit unsure as to when to turn the vacuum on. Okay. I think we're set. problems I was concerned we might run into that I didn't. Uh, one thing I could do here, something that I, ran, that I thought of while I was pulling this piece, uh, number one was to pull the plastic tighter down onto the platen. Um, you can see over here I didn't get full suction. Um, and number two, just to let the plastic go a little longer. Number three, ooh, one more thing. I could probably sand this prior to a pull. Uh, sand this design off of here. And that would, um, that would help, I think. So, let's remove the piece. One of the cool things about this design, my favorite thing, actually, all modular at all, just sort of stays together. All right, let's see if we can't pop the piece out. There we go. Um, I'm sure not the most beautiful pull in history. And uh, I will refine the process and get better. But there you have it.